Good morning, lovely ones. Welcome to my Lush Tums pregnancy yoga class. I'm teaching this class as um, part of the collaboration with Better Together Dorset, the amazing group set up by Kate Cadbury. Um, check out their timetable for a plethora of amazing activities throughout the week, incredible classes from really wonderful um, instructors. So today I am here to teach you pregnancy yoga and specifically we are dedicating this session to pregnancy yoga for all you wonderful mamas-to-be um, who are suffering with fatigue and insomnia. So a quick introduction from me, my name is Dulcie Bat. I've got four wonderful kids, uh, really enjoyed pregnancy yoga when I was pregnant with them. Um, and simply had to teach it. So um, I trained with Lush Tums Pregnancy Yoga and they are a totally lush um, organisation um, and it has become such a passion. So I teach regular classes. These classes are all free, 30 to 40 minutes, just to dip into um, various uh, ways and means that pregnancy yoga can help you. So today we are talking about pregnancy yoga Hello Lauren, hello Zara, welcome um, to aid, well basically to help you get to sleep and to help you stay asleep um, should you wake up in the night. Now pregnancy insomnia um, happens to, I think it's something like 78% uh, of women, it is super super common. So why, what's going on? Um, number one, it is uh, largely due to conscious and subconscious worries in your, in your head. Um, about the next stage of your life, and this is particularly towards the end of your pregnancy. Um, it is also because of your growing uterus. So this uterus is growing um, splendidly to make space for your growing baby, but that of course puts pressure on your bladder. It causes other issues. So that combined with um, the hormonal changes that you are going through means that um, you have more frequent trips to the bathroom, you may be suffering more from heartburn and other pregnancy related um, ailments which just make it difficult to sleep. But also we are in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic so um, what a time to be pregnant. I applaud you all and I know how important it is for you all to be able to find that place of connection and calm amidst this and believe you me you really can the space to find that is within and yoga is an amazing way to get there so yoga means union it's union of mind body and soul so please join me if you're feeling today um tired after another um fairly sleepless night or um you want to energize yourself um, or you want something that you can practice before bed to really help with your night's sleep. So um, what I wanted to just go through is a few tips, uh, you know, from me in terms of bonding with your baby before bed. Um, so stroking your lovely bump and talking to your baby before bed can really help um, and to help create positive thoughts in your mind before you go to sleep because the last thought you have at night is the first thought that you have in the morning. Honestly, trust me on that and, and check it. So go to sleep thinking positively, you'll wake up feeling the same way. Um, so walking is amazing. You know, we, we are all allowed to exercise in this um, current climate. So out for a good 30 minute walk a day is a brilliant way to aid restful sleep. But yoga at the start of the day or the end of the day is absolutely perfect for you. Now, a guided meditation or a yoga nidra at night. Now, yoga nidra means yogic sleep, and I will be including one of those in the session today. And I'm also gonna give you a free link to a pregnancy meditation. So those um, before going to bed at night, or if you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to, um, hello, lovely Joe. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you just wanna switch off and go back to sleep, these are amazing ways to do it. So um, the other, thing is in terms of um, your bedtime routine. So treating yourself, it's really great practice for you becoming a mama. Um, when you have a baby, you don't just, you know, finish their food in the evening and say, right, off to bed. Um, you'll create a bedtime routine for them. So just start to treat yourself as that, um, you know, in that caring, nurturing mama way. 
i.e. no caffeine after five o'clock, no stressful conversations if possible after five o'clock, get yourself a pregnancy tea that you think is really yummy or um, a chamomile tea is great. Have um, a stretch out before bed, a good 15 minute yoga session to stre stretch out any tension in the body, but also to um, for, for you to then have a lovely bath, uh, maybe with some lavender oil. So treat yourself gently to ease yourself into this state of sleep. So um, let us um, begin. What we'll do to start is have uh, this prana mudra. So we're talking your... Um, ring finger, little finger and thumb together. This is the mudra of life and it is amazing one for fatigue. So we're just gonna start with an opening meditation. So sit with your feet in easy pose, um, sit up on a block if you can so that your hips are higher than your knees and just bring your attention to your breath. Let your hands fall open so the palms are open up to the, up to the sky. Maybe just gently close your eyes and inhale and notice the glorious inhale as it rushes in through your nose. Exhale with a sigh. And just get into the rhythm of breathing that suits you and notice on the inhale how you sit a little taller. Notice on the exhale how you feel rooted and held by the earth underneath you. Just pay attention to these waves of breath as they sweep in and sweep out of your body. Just noting to yourself that everything else can wait for now. You're making time for yourself to restore you. Time for your baby to connect. So maybe sending a little smile down to your baby as you know this breath is reaching them and nourishing them. So now just begin at the top of your head. Let's do a scan through your body. We're going to relieve any tension by just casting a gentle nurturing eye upon it. So as you inhale, just imagine from the top of your head, scanning down. Imagine gently stroking down the back of your head and relaxing. Coming around to your forehead, smoothing out any lines, just relaxing your forehead. Coming down to your eyes and your nose. And knowing that each part where you touch your awareness just softens and relaxes under your gaze. Taking your awareness now down to your jaw, knowing that your jaw is connected to your pelvis so they soften and relax. Paying particular attention as you scan down through your neck and out across your shoulders to any part of you that feels tense. Any part of you where there's a knot of tension, just breathe that deep rhythmic breath into that area. Soften, release, relax all the way down to your fingertips. Deepening that breath now and just imagining your belly filling right up on the inhale. And exhaling until there's no breath left in you before the next inhale comes rushing in. And just scan down now from your neck, across your chest, around the back of your shoulders, and then down your midline, circling around your heart chakra, down to your baby bump. Scanning all around your baby, your uterus, the amazing creation that's going on inside. Relaxing, releasing down to your pelvis. Scanning down your legs. Deep in your thighs to your knees your shins, your calves, around your ankles, just letting go. Imagining on your next inhale, you're breathing in a breath that nourishes you completely. 
And on the exhale, just releasing anything that you don't need. <sighs> Breathing in all that nourishes. And releasing any fear, anxiety, doubt, anything you don't need in this moment. And now just take your awareness to any sounds that you can hear in the room around you. You'll hear my voice, maybe some gentle music, maybe other sounds in the house around you. Just curious awareness, tuning in and knowing that every sound grounds you in the present moment. The only place where life can be actually experienced. Maybe extend that field of awareness outside the room. Maybe outside the dwelling you're in. Can you hear the wind? Can you hear voices? Just paying gentle attention to your outside space. And now your attention back to your inner landscape, to your breathing, listening as the air rushes in through your nostrils. Noticing the pause at the end of the exhale and then listening as the air rushes out through your mouth. Knowing that the breath is the surest way to calm your nervous system and bring peace to your entire body. So whenever you're ready, just gently opening your eyes. And what I'm going to do for us all now is light a candle so we create sacred space. You just breathe in all that was good about that gentle relaxing opener. This is for you all. And what we're going to do is to move into our movement now. So I'm going to go back a little way so you can see me. So we're going to have easy pose, so sitting up on a block or a book if you have one, having your feet one in front of the other, hands now on your knees and let's just begin by rolling those shoulders, inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you go down. breathing we do to relax ourselves is the breathing we do in pregnancy to prepare for our birth. So the deeper the inhale as your tummy expands, the deeper the exhale. It's the surest way to bring all the oxygen your uterus needs to do its work effectively so you have a smooth and comfortable labour. Let's extend those shoulder circles now, inhaling as they come up. Just noticing any crunchy bits, any tension. Gravity pulls you so far more forward than normal when you're pregnant. So here we're just reversing that for a moment. Oh, this feels like you've just woken up in the morning, you're giving a delightful stretch. Now extending both arms, inhale up. Look at your palms and then Bring your gaze forward, inhale, take your gaze with your palms up to the ceiling and exhale back down. Notice again how that feels. And then hands back to neutral. I'm gonna plant your left hand on the floor. I'm gonna raise your right arm up with your fingers activated and then come into a side bend, just gently bending your left arm and here we can do some more to release neck tension. Any tension we can release helps with our sleeping. So breathe into this side body first of all, inhale. Exhale and just stretch a little further. And then on the next inhale, just take your gaze down to your hand on the floor. On the exhale, blow up into your arm above. Inhale down. And then on the next inhale, up and over, we do the same the other side. So reaching right up, 
taking your weight gently into the right arm. Inhale here, really make space all in that side body, down the side of your bra strap, around your ribs. Breathe into how good that feels. And then again here, on the next inhale, just tilt your neck down. And then exhale up. Releasing tension, making space. On the next inhale, breathe, breathe that arm down to the ground. Okay, so let's just do a twist here. Twist out our body, release any tension in the midline. So inhaling up, growing tall, exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, arms up to the center and do the same the other side. One more each side. And then inhale up and bring those hands back down to center. So let's do a neck stretch here. So we're going to tilt the head to the left, gently hold on just to the top of the head. Maybe extend your right arm out. This is a wonderful one for releasing neck tension. It's actually also nice just to gently pull on the opposite shoulder and just breathe into that. You might feel a slight kind of burning sensation. You're releasing tension. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, just soften into the stretch. And then gently head back to neutral. Let's do the same the other side. So dropping your right ear to your right shoulder, taking hold at the top of your head, just gently pulling, either extending the left arm out or gently. Oh, thank you for the love, girls. Inhale here, pulling away ever so gently. Inhale and soften into that stretch. Okay, so with some more love to these necks of ours, let's do some gentle neck rolls. So roaring your neck down, ear to ear. You don't drop it back here. Instead, paint. imagine painting a rainbow with the crown of your head up and over. So just dropping chin to chest. And go as slowly as you want to go. You might feel all kinds of creaks and crunches going on. You're releasing tension. And then back around the other way whenever you're ready. Painting that lovely rainbow. The rainbow, one of my favorite things, the vision of hope and love and connection through this time. Okay, so just shake out those shoulders now. Now we're going to um, come into our wide leg stretch. Now I forgot to say, if any of you, I'm obviously not able to watch um, any of you as you move. Uh, please listen to your bodies. If at any point anything's uncomfortable, just stop, get into a comfortable um, pose like Peaceful Warrior, catch your breath. My guide is just as a guide, um, but listen to your body. You are the expert in that. If any of you have any pelvic girdle pain or SPD, then um, with your legs, if ever we have our legs apart, just make sure they're hip distance apart. For now, anyone not with SPD or PGP, uh, legs apart wider than your yoga mat flex your feet up and what we're doing here is energizing the legs so really flex them up you will automatically feel a beautiful stretch all the way up your calf muscles so flex and point and flex and point if you want to plant your hands behind you so that you can kind of dump your weight into the back then please do that or you can sit up nice and straight whatever feels good but flex and point here Okay, and now do some circles. Circle, circle those feet. Getting energy and circulation going right down to the toes. If you wish, you can bring those circles into your hands as well. I realize you can't see my toes, but I promise you, they are circling wildly here. This is a great one to beat fatigue, energize you, get your system circulating as it should when you wake up in the morning and before bed to tire yourself. Circles back around the other way. Okay, just shake those feet out. 
we're going to do an open-hearted um, stretch interlinking our fingers inhale raise those hands up to the ceiling take your arms back so that your arms are in line with your ears really feel that stretch across the top of your shoulders and up through your arms inhale and exhale soften into this stretch and now keeping those fingers interlinked we're going to take them behind our body inhale into an open-hearted stretch here keeping those feet nice and flexed, feeling that stretch all the way up through your legs as you do. <sighs> okay, give those legs a little thump on the floor. And here we're gonna come into our all fours. So let's come into, hello lovely people who are watching, Maya and Gemma, hello, hello, sending love. So we're coming into all fours. Make sure that your knees underneath your hips, maybe slightly wider to accommodate your bump. Your hands are just slightly further forward of your shoulders. And from here, let's do some cat cows to um, loosen up this spine. So as you inhale, tuck out your tailbone, extend your head into um, forward. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone underneath and arch your body up. On the inhale, go the other way, but don't overarch this lumbar. It's common for the bump to really pull the back of your spine um, down. So try and keep a nice flat back here. So exhaling up, really enjoy that stretch, breathe into it, inhale forward. Exhale, arch that back up. And then find your neutral and from here we will I'll come around to the front actually to show you show you better we're going to extend out your bring your left hand slightly further into the middle we're going to extend out your left foot with your toe pointing forward and plant your left hand um, almost in the middle underneath your face we're going to inhale this arm up to the ceiling behind us coming into a really lovely full body stretch here so inhale that arm up exhale soften into that inhale exhale and soften on the next inhale drop your arm round behind so it's tuck, tucked into the base of your spine inhale and open your heart up to the ceiling Exhale with a grounding breath down through your left hand side. Oh, really stretching out your body here. So placing that hand back down on the floor, we're going to walk your hands out to the left hand side. Have your palm facing forward and we're extending your arm up and over into a lovely full body stretch here. Inhale, exhale and deepen that stretch. And actually, if you dip your arm down, you can almost make another rainbow here. So inhale, exhale, elongate and lengthen this stretch with a sigh. Inhale, feel that breath expanding in your belly. Exhale as it contracts. And then Coming forward by folding your body forward, sticking your bottom out slightly, hands and support in front of you. And we're going to bring your right leg in and we repeat the same on the other side. So extending your left leg out to the side, toes pointing forward. Here you plant your right hand down underneath your face. And then as though you're drawing a bow, you in, you ex. Inhale, um, your arm up to the ceiling. Taking your gaze with it, extending your fingertips. Exhale, soften into that stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, soften. On the next inhale here, just drop that hand into the base of your lower back and inhale and twist up towards the ceiling, opening your heart up to the sky above. 
As you exhale, soften into the stretch. One more here. And then gently coming back around, placing both hands on the floor. We're going to walk your hands around to the side. Plant your hand down. We are inhaling this arm up and over into this wonderful full body stretch. Inhale, lift, exhale, extend that stretch. And you can see by dropping that arm, again, it's a beautiful rainbow. So inhale up, exhale over. Inhale, lift, exhale, just feel that beautiful stretch all down your side body. And when you're ready to come forward, roll forward, roll your bottom back out, hands in front of you, and let's bring your knees together in um, all fours again. So from here, we're gonna come down into Peaceful Warrior. So with Peaceful Warrior, have your knees wider than your hips because we're making space for your bump. Have your feet about a foot length away from each other and we're just gonna push back down onto the mat, extending your arms in front of you and place your forehead on the mat. Inhale and with a big sigh, just release and let go. Now continue to breathe deeply in this beautiful, relaxing pose. Peaceful warrior balances out the sleep and um, wake cycles of the body. It is great for adrenal fatigue. It's a brilliant one to do when you wake in the morning and before bed. So maybe now just massage your forehead back and forth on the, on the mat. which is super soothing, it's revitalizing. You are stimulating the hypothalamus gland, we're releasing good positive hormones, relaxing the body. So really utilize this pose. Then when you're ready, just walk your hands around to the left. Maybe bring your, right, your left arm bent, pushing down into the palm and inhaling, lifting, exhaling, really ground into the left, into the right hip, down into the floor. And then on the next inhale, walk those hands back to the center, and you're going to do the same the other side. So walking the hands out to the side, pushing through your right palm, head down on the ground, and really pushing through and grounding through your left hip on the exhale. One more deep breath here. And then bringing your hands back to center and pushing yourself up into all fours again. So let's do some work in terms of restless legs. Restless legs used to drive me crazy when I was pregnant and that was one of the reasons I would wake up um, so often. So we'll do some super mama poses first of all. So here we just extend the left leg, push into the flexed foot on the floor to get a lovely stretch through the foot and the calf. Raise the opposite hand and keep your neck nice and long. Inhale, stretch out from fingertip to heel as long as you can. Exhale with a grounding breath through your opposite knee and hand. Inhale here, reach forward, exhale and push back into that left heel. On the next inhale, come back to neutral and we'll do the same the other side. So think of yourself as a super mama here, extending that right leg out behind you really pushing through the heel, extending the left arm so it's in line with the ear, inhaling, lengthening from fingertip to heel, exhaling with a grounding breath into the supporting knee and hand, inhale, lengthening, 
pushing into that right heel. And then on the next exhale, come back to all fours. So we will now do restless legs pose. So that super modern pose is great for that, but this one is simply lifting up your left leg just up from the floor and shaking it as though you've got, I don't know, some chewing gum or something stuck on the toe, shaking that leg, getting the circulation going, tiring the leg. You can hear my voice going a bit oh, as I shake. So really shaking, so you feel that shake through the whole of your body and you actually can't shake that foot anymore. Keep your breathing steady and when you're ready, just with a big sigh, let go and relax in the center. And then do the same on the other leg. So extend your right leg out behind you, lift it just from the floor and then shake like crazy. Shake so you're really, really energizing that leg. This restless legs pose is brilliant for tiring out your legs before bed so that they'll relax and you can sleep better. So for any of you that suffer with cramps or restless legs, this one and the Superman pose are brilliant. So you're shaking till you can't shake that leg anymore. And then just release. Take a big inhale here and with a big sigh, just let go. One more big sigh. Okay, so from here, we're coming into pigeon pose. So just walk your knees very slightly further away from your, from your hands. We're going to pick up your right knee, bring it in so that the heel, the ankle, is in line with the left wrist. Extend your left leg behind you. And here we can inhale the left arm up. You're supporting yourself with your right hand on the floor. Exhale, ground through your root chakra. Inhale, nice long neck, shoulders relaxed. Exhale here, lower your hand back down to the floor. And if you have a cushion or a blanket, just grab that and place it in front of you. Walk your hands down and just release and surrender into this pose. So bring your head down onto the pillow. If you don't have a pillow, you can just put your hands together, one potato, two potato like this, but some way where you're supported and you are stretching out all of your right thigh muscle. So this is a pose to surrender, to let go, to feel whatever you need to feel Maybe you want to just wriggle backwards and forwards. And do that lovely deep birth breathing as you go, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Really feel that muscle warming up and stretching it out. And then on the next inhale, just push yourself up into your palms. You're going to gently ease that knee back. So you're back in all fours. We're going to do the same, but the other way. So picking up your left knee, bringing your left ankle to your right wrist and extending the right leg out behind you. Planting your left hand on the floor, lifting your right hand in front of you, inhale. Take your gaze to your fingertips. Think of elongating your body, extending your hand, keeping your shoulders soft, belly soft. Space around your neck. Exhale, soften through that root chakra. Inhale, feel lifted. Exhale, soften into the stretch. And then again, coming forward, walking your hands down to the floor. Resting your head on a cushion or on your fists. And just again, surrender. Inhale. Breathe in all that nourishes. Exhale. Soften and relax. Feel what comes up for you here. Maybe wriggle into the stretch. 
Really lovely stretch for the hip joints too. Letting go of anything you can let go of. Right here, right now. And maybe say to yourself here, in this moment, all is well. In this moment, all is well. And that's a really wonderful mantra to say to yourself when you just gently wake at night. You're not fully awake, not fully asleep. It's a great way to get back to sleep. In this moment, all is well. Okay, so on the next inhale, just push yourself up and bring your knees back together into all fours. From here, we'll do some safe standing. So we're going to tuck your toes underneath. Coming up safely when you're pregnant means lifting your knees off the floor at the same time, walking your feet and hands together and just walking yourself up your body. So from here, let's just roll those shoulders and we're going to do some energizing arms and this is a really great way to energize us and wake us up. So a great one to do in the morning. So we're just gonna start keeping a micro bend in your knees, bouncing your knees very gently and just swinging your arms. Finding a rhythm of the breath with the swinging. <sighs> Always treating yourself to the deepest inhales and exhales you can. <sighs> Think of bringing energy into your body as you move. And just extend those stretches now. Your arms a little further behind, a little further up above. Matching the movement with the breath and then moving your hands up so you're tapping onto your back here. Feel how heavy your hands are. And then slowing that move down. Still energizing our arms here. We're gonna take this momentum but take it from side to side. So just swinging your arms around your body, keeping your hips forward, your belly nice and soft, windmill your hands. You can twist your gaze behind you. Inhale one way, exhale the other. And then slow down the momentum of that. And let's bring your hands into prayer here. We're gonna do something called the snake dance, which is another really lovely one to make you feel light and agile, and um, it's really good for creating energy. So we're going to come just down into a slight squat with your feet hip distance apart, maybe slightly further apart if you don't have any um, pelvic issues. You're just gonna sway your hands down to the floor as you inhale, and then as you exhale, Moving these hands in this snake dance, wider and wider, up to the ceiling, pointing them up to the sky above, and then down again. <sighs> Big, expansive, wave-like moves, matching the waves of breath in your body, inhaling back up. Pressing into the palms, palm to palm, pressing together with love, and back down. And then just coming up to standing, a micro bend in your knees here, hands pressed together in prayer pose. So what I'd love us to do now is a forward bend. We're doing a forward bend with our backs nice and straight, legs just bent, keeping our hands in prayer. We're just gonna tilt our bodies forward until your elbows just rest on your knees. From here, just release your neck, tilt it into the body, releasing any neck tension. Maybe just swaying your neck backwards and forwards here. Moving with your breath, noticing if there's anything that comes up for you when you're upside down. Releasing and letting go with the in exhale. Breathing in all that nourishes you on the, exhale, on the inhale. Just 
Tucking in. And letting go. And then when you're ready, coming up with the inhale to avoid any dizziness. Big inhale on standing. And now we're going to come down into um, our yogic rest. So the same way you come up, you come down safely when you're pregnant. So walking your hands down your body, hands onto the floor, bringing both knees down to the floor at the same time. And what I'd love is if you could get into a cosy position. I'm going to give you a really delicious um, yoga nidra today. So the Yoga Nidra is by Dr. Uma Dinsmore Tully, who is um, a joy to listen to. Uh, you can find more of her stuff on the Yoga um, Nidra, I think it's called the Yoga Nidra Network. Um, anyway, you, can, you may Google her. So what I'd love is if you lay down on your mat with your, um, on the left side, so that you imagine your baby in the optimal fetal position. So get really comfy. Imagining baby's head down, back along the left-hand side of your belly. Uh, maybe pop a cushion in between your legs. Um, pop a blanket over you so you're super cosy and calm. And I will begin. So Yoga Nidra is yogic sleep. It is the most wonderful way to nourish the special state that is pregnancy. It nourishes you and revitalizes you. So on the next inhale, just feel your body feeling lighter. On the exhale, just notice all the points of contact on the floor and really feel like you're held entirely in the space that you're in. All is well. You are safe, you are calm, you're gifting this time to your baby. So allow now for letting go and trust with each exhale and allow for the breath to go right out and let all of the body settle into such comfort that there is no desire to move at all into joyful, restful, nourishing stillness. Let the body feel deliciously rested in this space of yoga nidra. The only intention is to be held in trust that the wisdom of the body has great power. Here, resting in this place, in this horizontal place, the body is able to receive the revitalizing breath of each inhale and allow your body to settle deeper into comfort on the exhale. Let that rhythm continue. Be open to receiving all the different sounds that can be heard, welcoming all those that are present right here into this moment. The sweeter the sounds are received, the deeper the relaxation. Let there be a welcome at the end of the next inhale for the wisdom within the body with guidance and clear nourishment. A deep intuitive wisdom that allows for the body to be felt. So really welcome your intuition here. Let each part of the body relax into that wisdom. Start at the tip of the left hand thumb and moving into each finger, the palm, the wrist, the forearm, your elbow and shoulder, your armpit, your side and waist. Welcome in the whole of the body, the groin, the buttock, the hip, the thigh, the knee, the calf, the ankle, all the way down into the shin and into the left foot, the 
heel, the sole, the top of the left foot. All the way down now, awareness traveling through each toe on the left foot. Letting the whole of your left hand side be held in trust with the wisdom of your body. In the space that is yoga nidra, the whole of your left side. Let your awareness now travel to the tip of your right hand thumb, into each fingertip, the palm, the back of the hand, the whole of the hand. Letting your awareness travel through your wrist, your forearm, your elbow, your upper arm, your shoulder, your armpit, have your awareness move like a warm summer breeze through your body, moving all the way down to your groin, your hips, your waist, the thigh, your knee, shin, calf and ankle, all the toes on the right foot and the whole of the right side nourished by this awareness, settling the body into trust, being aware of the left and the right side, the yin and the yang, the balance. Then moving through the back of your body from the tip of the tailbone, the sacrum, nourishing every part, settling into trust, wisdom and power. Into the back, up into the shoulder blade, left and right side into the back of your neck, the back of your head, up to the crown of your head, the whole of your scalp and forehead, so the whole back of your body can rest in trust at the wisdom and power in the body. This warm summer breeze of awareness now on your face, relaxing the entire face smoothing out any lines, easing the space between the eyes and the tips of the nose, through your cheeks and ears, down to the jaw, the chin, the lips, the teeth, your tongue, just letting your tongue soften in your mouth on the back of your teeth. And then moving down the neck, the collarbone, along your breastbone, through the best bone, down into your chest, past your heart and into your belly. Taking your awareness to your baby. Your baby in the optimal fetal position. Your awareness on their head, along their spine, curving outwards with the curve of your belly, up into their buttocks, their legs drawn in, their sweet face, their hands clenched. And then taking your awareness to your baby's face and seeing their contented smile and responding back to them with a whole body smile of contentment. Knowing that you are fully alive to your outer world and fully present to your inner world. Rest right here in the space of open awareness that is Yoga Nidra. Breathing more deeply into this relaxation. Letting the breath be easy, free and strong. In through your nostrils out through your mouth. So just make note of the space you're in now, how calm and relaxed and centered and confident you are. And know that this space is available to you at any point. This is your space of inner wisdom.
So when you're ready, just begin to wiggle your fingertips and toes. Or if you're listening to this on replay before bed, then maybe just switch off now so that you can continue into a deep, restful sleep. For those coming back round now, just wiggle the finger and toes. Notice as you breathe in through the nose. Exhale with a big sigh through your mouth. And as you become more aware of the room around you, just slowly, gently bring yourself up to a seated position. Birthing affirmations are a really beautiful way to connect with the inner wisdom and bring you to a calm and centered place. I've chosen you a card today, which is I choose to see the beauty in this whole process of bringing a new life into the world. There are all kinds of affirmations, birthing affirmations packs available. So choose your favorites or write your own. Now these, if you remember me saying at the beginning, the last thought you have at night is the first thought you have in the morning. If you go to sleep thinking something positive stated in the present like that, then you are much more likely to have a deep and restful sleep. So we close this space today just by placing your hands in front of your heart and we say the word namaste, meaning the divine in me sees the divine in you. Namaste. I wish you all a restful day, a restful sleep. I really hope that that session helped you. If any of you have any questions, please just pop them under this live and have a wonderful rest of your day.